Hi everybody! Welcome to Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Gretchen. And I'm Dave. And today <laughs> we are going to paint Firefly. Yes! The entirety of Firefly. The entirety of it. Um, All ten episodes. Yes. And the movie. Was it ten? Was it twelve? I don't know. And the movie. And the movie. Okay. All Sounds we know good. is we're angry it's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are indeed. Just notice that the box set is right behind you. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh! Hey! <laughs> I can, there we go. Can I grab it? Do I have enough arms? I yeah. do, in fact. Do I have enough arms? <laughs> <laughs> the answer was yes. yes. I have. Yes. I you only have used arms. one, but I have two, so I have extra arms <laughs> for yep. this purpose. Um, <laughs> there we and behind me. Uh, oh, wrong is way. Is it? There we go. Oh. I, I can never tell where the camera's coming from. It's fine. You're good. We believe in you. That's what Leona's for. We just yes. point and Leona will make it the right direction. She will. Mm. Good work. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So yes, we're painting uh, Firefly brigands and brown coats from Gale Force 9 this very evening. Very excited. Um, it's, uh, it should be very cool. Um, one of the things that I liked, uh, that I really liked about the miniatures for this, is that you get a casual Oh yeah, version. and a heroic version. Ho -ho. So the the artwork is the same on each side, for whether you get. Uh, well, just a, the, a but the background. minis, but the minis are different. Minis are quite different. And they're now down here. <laughs> 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 so that's Jane yep. standing and then running. And this is uh, sorry, there we go. So this is Wash casual. Scratching his head and wash heroic. Which is pretty cool. Check it out. Zooming in there. So yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> so I do like that. So you have that for you can just you just switch it out once you've moved to your uh once your character has moved to their new aspect, I guess. And so then we cool also so we did Leona did a fun little uh voting poll for who we should paint today. Yep. And there was a very clear winner, I believe. There was. <laughs> there was. Um, and, and it wasn't Wash. It wasn't Wash. It wasn't Wash. Wash was, in fact, the opposite of the clear uh, winner. <laughs> Wash had the least votes. Yes. A cheer for him. Um, it was, in fact, Kaylee. Uh, and, as it turns out, there are two Kayleys. Yay. So we each can paint a Kaylee. So um, you have the... Um, it's tough to tell with Kaylee. Yeah, I don't know. Which one's casual and which one's heroic? Because in in my on mine, if I pop it down there, she's like standing sassy, hand like hand on hip, but she also has a giant wrench. Oh, like, Gretchen, you should show them the um, card. I should show them the card. Is what? But this Art. this is the kneeling one that uh, Dave has. Yeah. But you can see how big the wrench is. Like that is a kneecapping wrench. That is a wrench for spaceships and for kneecaps. Yeah. Um, My, I, so I, I just worked out, <laughs> I have the heroic one because oh. she switched from the kneecapping wrench to the, um, the nipple twisting, uh, spanner. <laughs> I don't and know. And that, that's what makes a hero. No. <laughs> I don't need this big wrench that's going to like break somebody's face. I need this little spanner. <laughs> I prefer the big wrench. Yep. I want... <laughs> but yes. So yeah, right. we decided um, Dave and Gretchen are gonna both paint uh, Kaylee, and then they'll probably paint another character too. So yeah, if yeah. we have enough time, I have both the Janes with me, so I'll choose a Jane. And I'm gonna paint Wash. We shout because out to Wash. Because someone has to give <laughs> him the lowest voting Wash. score. So show him some love. <laughs> Telling you. Uh, Very disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> but yes. We'll get the uh, Kaylee's done. It'll be all good. So just quickly, um, we need to say hi to some folks in the chat. I know that uh, Jez Hunt is here, uh, Some Keys here, Josh Potter, uh, Dave H. Oh. Josh Potter agrees with me that we need a Kaylee party dress. That was the first thing I said, was none of these are the pink dress. Yep, sadly no. Um, we've got Josh, we've got uh, Trubus, uh we have James. We've got a few other folks that I missed um, early on. 
So uh, Josh aims to misbehave. <laughs> so good work, Josh. We'll come back to that. One uh, other thing that I will point out, we have a copy of um, Firefly, uh, Firefly Adventures Respectable Folk Crew Expansion Set. <laughs> so it has Shepherd Book. Oh, bring it yep, down there. Shepherd Book and Inara in there. And uh, they also come with um, casual and heroic poses, which are pretty cool. So definitely a, a cool expansion. Uh, plus all the, the cards that you need to play them. Let's get a, find the right shot. There we go. It's almost like we're professionals here. Sometimes. <laughs> Excellent. So there we go. I like to think we are. I like to think we are too, but then I realize we aren't. And it all goes down. <laughs> I get told I'm a professional sometimes, and I'm like, <laughs> yes, keep believing that. <laughs> yes. If someone believes, like Tinkerbell, you know, if you, if you believe it really hard and everyone claps their hands at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you're a professional. Then, yep. Excellent. That's all it takes for success, guys. Bet you didn't know. That's cool. Well, these um, these minis are very. Uh, yes, um, Brad detailed. is right. On the bottom, the gray is casual, and the light green is heroic. Yep. Um, I did spray them in black, <laughs> so that's why you can't see the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the um, I took it off and looked oh, underneath. Oh, you did. Okay. Ah. <laughs> there you go. So yeah. I'm just going to kick off by uh, painting their uh, the skin first, nice. because the the miniatures are quite um, fine and detailed. I didn't want to have to um, sort of go back in and paint the paint the skin after I painted the rest of their clothing. It's kind of a little bit easier to do it this way and then work around it. So I'm going to. Um, Work back and forth on between Kaylee and uh, and Wash. What um, colors are you using for the skin? Uh, for the skin, I'm going with my kind of standard uh, Caucasian flesh approach, which is uh, tan. I think it's called just tan from the uh, Vallejo Game Color range. You can see I've had this pot for a long time because the label is all cracked. Um, and then I'm going to be mixing in some Rin Flesh from uh, the P3 range for the highlights. So I'll probably put a, a couple of highlights in there, just a, like a 50-50 mix and then a, a final highlight of the um, Rin Flesh. Particularly when the, when the minis are, I'm not gonna say that these are small because they are still in that sort of 25 <laughs> Down here. My eyes are so far away. Scoochy scooch. But yeah, they're nice and uh, nice and fine. I'm boring. I'm just starting off with. Uh, I think it was literally, yeah, flat earth with a little bit of white to lighten it up, to get the khaki on the uh, the pants going, since that's like half of her. <laughs> right. I must admit, when I saw that um, the, uh, what do you call it? My mind's gone blank. When I saw that Kaylee was doing really well in the polls, I thought, I better check out an image. So I did a Google search for um, some Kaylee images. So I'll be uh, riffing on those, I think, for the um, <laughs> for tonight. Probably going with her, um, like the green. Uh, yeah, this green, has um, some green coveralls. in it in the coveralls. I think it's meant to be the green, but it also looks very khaki. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure what I'm what I'm gonna. You gonna kind of do a mix? Yeah. That's cool. Maybe I'll kind of shade it with the green. Yeah. Um, I think that'll work. And right. then. There we go. Um, 
No, I'm just, uh, my eyeballs. <laughs> Does the game come with minis? Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, so it was it was Brad who pointed out that um, I'm talking about the bottom. Oh, wrong brush. There we go. That's the brush I need. Yes. So this game has the minis in the box, assembled and everything. Yeah. Yep. Um, minis in the box. Which is really nice. And then there's also um, like they're not monsters. They're just the like adversaries too. The reavers. There's there is um. I don't, I don't think they're Reavers. Are they Reavers? I don't think they're Reavers. Yeah, I, I didn't think they were Reavers either. They're just like the cowboy people. Yeah, like or like corporate security. Yeah. That kind of yeah. thing. And two expansions, yes. Yeah. But uh, Brad... Oh, it's um, Faded OG. Brad Genera, who's in the, in the chat... Um, yes. ...painted up a Mal and posted it this morning, I think. Yeah. And that's why we decided we didn't need to paint Mal. We don't need to paint Mal. <laughs> Brad's already done it for us. Yes, so we'll be seeing Brad's um, mini soon. Not right away. We don't want to rush Brad or anything. Does it come with Badger? What's that? Does it come with... Oh, they would be great for Stargrave, for sure. <laughs> um, need some rolly seats. I don't know. I don't get that one, Sunky. I'm usually good. But, um, <laughs> there are two expansions. What's the other one, Josh? Good evening, Dave Moffat. Uh, the other expansion is um, the. Runaways, the stowaways. Oh, oh okay. Cool. The so doctor has... and um, what's her face? Yep. Good old what's her face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget. Why can't I remember her name? It does not come with Badger, I don't think. <laughs> no, no, I don't think Badger's in there. Yeah. Although he could be a good expansion. Yeah, he would be a good expansion, Maybe. but yeah, it doesn't come. Inara, yep, Inara is River, River. Yeah. Inara Why is in, am this, so dumb? in this expansion. The, um, <laughs> it's River. <laughs> respectable folk. But, yeah, so uh, in yeah. the expansions, it's River and the Doctor brother and um, Shepherd and Simon. Inara. Simon, thank you. Simon. <laughs> no badger. Simon many. Tam <laughs> and River Tam. Yes, that's it. The old cake is a lie, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Excellent. Facebook user. There is a link earlier in the chat. If you want us to see your name, we can now. And you just have to click that link and allow Restream to see your, see your name. Good evening, Jeff Smith. Also, good evening, Pug Friend. Thank you for joining. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, scrolling through, as I'm scrolling through the chat. <laughs> Oh no, Josh. the box is in, is stowed Josh away. Is it's the danger of moving. Yeah. That's why I think I'm going to stay in the house that I'm in for like Forever? the rest of my life. Just so you never have to move? Never have to move. I've got at least one more move. One That's more a nice base you? brown, Gretchen. What? That's a nice base brown. Yeah. I like it. Does wash come with spike or without? <laughs> <laughs> without, Chris. Without. I mean, but you could get a toothpick. <laughs> Drill a hole. <laughs> uh, Make you more floppy. It'll, I will get a hair dryer. And yeah. it'll work. <laughs> David Moffat says, terrible. when my wife, when I first met my wife, she was all about Buffy and Firefly. See, we were talking about yeah. that earlier because the first-ish kind of not quite date that I had with my <laughs> now fiance was over Firefly. But Firefly bought you together. <laughs> it did. It did. It took like a year. But 
Are you watching Firefly? No. Um, I was going to say, there aren't that many episodes. He, <laughs> you just watch it over and over. He found out that I had never seen Firefly. Ah. And uh, not, like, for any particular reason. It just, I had never seen it. Um, and I was like, oh, that sounds like something I'd love. And he was like, yeah, you should come over to watch it. And then he, like, never, like, completed that thought of inviting me over. He just, um, like, said, come over on this. Uh, no, 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 I was or... like, yeah, I'll come over. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And then he never, like, acted upon that. Um, and then several, like, m I think, like, several months later, maybe? Um, and we had been flirting <laughs> the entire time, but, like, a while later. Long enough where I'm like, what's going on here? Um, he, someone brought up Firefly, and he goes, you never came over to watch Firefly. And I was like, what do you mean I never came over? You never invited me. And he's like, oh, I thought you were just going to come over. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not just, I don't know where you live. <laughs> I'm not just going to show up uninvited at a, like, at a person's house. <laughs> That's so, no. <laughs> yes, and then he that. was like, oh, well, give me your number so that, like, I can invite you. And uh, I had to then remind him that he already had my number. Right. It had been in his, it was like a magic trick though. It was great. We were at the pub and he was like, give me your number. And I was like, check in your phone. <laughs> Boom. It's been there the whole time. I felt like David Copperfield. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. Um, but it still wasn't like official. I thought I was going on a date, but then when I showed up, there was a bunch of people there. So I was like, wait. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> um, but with all of this confusion, uh, and mostly me just saying, no, 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 stop. <laughs> what is this? Uh, we, we managed. Little Thanks. nerds in the universe. <laughs> That's, it's really hard for, for nerds, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> it can be. It can yep. be. There we go. Okay. So I think I have the, um... So the flesh done on all of all of those, all of those two. I say all. It sounds like a lot. But. So, what color would you say uh, Kaylee's hair was? It's dark a brunette. Brown. It's a. I don't say a dark brunette. I say it's okay. a medium kind of because she has a little bit of highlights. Okay. A little bit of. I'm good with that then. Like a nice, a nice generic kind of. So I'm going to start with a surprise, surprise charred brown, which is a dark brown, and then I can hide that up. <laughs> Everyone, dirty blonde, isn't she Auburn? Guys. <laughs> Was nobody paying attention? Know your colors, jeez. I don't know, I would put I feel her like in that category. Her hair, I feel like... chain... her hair has reddish undertones. And, like, I feel like dirty blonde and light brown are very kind much on, not the same, I wouldn't you, classify them as the same, I'm more specific, but I feel like people interchange them. Sure. I think you're right. I think you're right. They, they well, especially if you're me and you just call blonde hair yellow, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, yellow hair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> like. Because I would say my natural hair color is kind of like dishwater blonde. And I know some people have called it brown in the summer, but I don't think it ever gets actual brown. Like, not in the summer. Sorry, in the winter. In the summer, it bleaches out. <laughs> and everyone's like, wow, you're really extra blonde. I'm like, yes, it's the sun. I will get this right. I just keep bringing it Welcome up to my Dave eyeballs. H. Thanks for joining. Brown coats yeah. forever. <laughs> it's true. Strawberry Brown coats forever, for sure. My blonde hair gets white in the sun, but looks dark when it's wet. <laughs> Welcome to the world of hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> well, it's that, it is that funny thing where it's, uh, it has that, there's a translucency to it. So lighting and other things that impact it's it working as a prism kind of thing. So 
I'm just waiting for somebody to say that my hair is dirty gray. It is. I would say more of a salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah. It's kind of like Cruella de Vil. <laughs> Thanks. But like in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Fiona. You're welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll mute myself now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perhaps you should. <laughs> Excellent. So Gretchen, what colors are you adding right now? Um, so I went over her um, overalls with a thin coat of dead flesh to get that greeny kind of khaki vibe that is in the the art that I'm going off of, which is like the official uh, card. Yeah, the official card, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to see how that goes, and then hopefully uh, wear and tear it up a little bit. Uh, and then right now, I am mixing flat earth and a bit of ivory and a bit of scarlet, I believe, to get a flesh color. Um, she doesn't have a lot of flesh showing, uh, unlike, well, neither do you guys really, Dave. <laughs> I was going to say, unlike yours. Watch has Wash is probably got the most. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to... Uh, I'm gonna try. This is delicate. Yep. <laughs> Jess says, my hair was brown. Now it's theoretical. <laughs> nice, Jess. That's good. Uh, try to get some all the base colors. So uh, everyone who's watching, let us know what you guys are painting. Yeah. If you're painting along with us on. or any projects you have been working on over the weekend or something like that, let us know. I'm just going straight in here with the uh, US dark green from uh, Vallejo, which is great for um, US, armor for, uh, US Army uniforms. Um, but yeah, anyth anytime you want that sort of uh, drab green kind of look. It's a great, great paint for that. I'm just gonna put that over. Her overalls and, or coverall kind of thing. And I think once I've got that done, I'm gonna hit it with a, um, a wash of Agrax Earthshade to give it a little bit of um, depth and murkiness so that it can come back and highlight up with with a little bit of this and a little bit of um, probably a little bit of ivory mix into it. So, no worries. These minis are tiny. Yeah. They're so small. I think I've been painting a lot of very large minis <laughs> recently. We, so. we were. We were spoiled. Yep. So. Yes. Yep. Yeah. They are very cool. Nice. Okay. And then I'm going to make uh, it nice and easy for myself with wash. Although I'm tempted. So in... Uh, stuff. Okay, on the artwork here... He's got his like his brown vest and a sort of deep red shirt. Yeah. But on the the mini, he has like uh, he has a button up shirt and it's short. Oh, maybe that's. Hmm. Maybe not. No. Okay. I'm gonna change it quite differently then actually from the card. Pretty sure I'm just gonna do that. But looking at this now, I think I could do his outer shirt like a, one of his Hawaiian shirts. Do it, do it. So I can it. go with um, like a, a teal kind of look. And then just go for a white collared long sleeve undershirt. Oh that's kind of thing. So yeah, because it doesn't look like it's actually sort of buttoned down the front. But I think that could be fun. 
and I'll just go for some brown pants. Khakis. Maybe not uh, brown coat, but brown pants. How about pants. khaki? <laughs> hmm? Khaki. Khakis? No. What? Nah. I feel like... I feel like really? he would wear khakis. I feel I like mean, he's... if they were there, if they were on top of the pile. I think I can always get the feeling that Wash just wears whatever's on top of the pile. Like a pair of cargo shorts? He strikes me as a cargo short wearing man. Totally. Oh. <laughs> I mean, definitely wear cargo shorts. If they were on top of the pile. Do you really think his wife lets him have a pile? I don't think she likes him to have it. <laughs> I, su I suspect it could be one of the th piece, one of the items of friction in their marriage. <laughs> I'm so sure it's one of those uh, some people like... have answered my question. Okay, cool. With what they're doing. David Moffat says, today I painted tanks. Shout out to Tank Guy. Good stuff. Does Wash come with a harpoon? No. No. Nope. Oh, Brad sh says he's painting Jane. Nice. Oh, painting Jane at the moment? Fantastic. Very cool. We're going to show your mini later. Jeff Smith is painting up Arcadia Quest Hero Packs. Excellent. That's cool. Lava Painter is, said, I would love to be home painting more mono Monster Apocalypse, but I'm stuck at work. No. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. And uh, shout out to Ayumi's Monster Apocalypse. Very good. Good stuff. Everyone. Excellent. Oh, yeah. I found out the name of her channel. Okay. Um, of course, now I'm not going to... I'll get that in a second. Right. Um, Chris Cox is working on some printed minis from Darkfire Designs. My custom clone. Very cool. David Moffat also started building a 90 Warlord Wargames factory skeletons. 24 now have legs attached to feet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How many did you say? Hmm? How many did you say? How many skeletons? 90. 90? Wow. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Jez, thanks for joining the Facebook group. No problem. Excellent. Sometimes you just don't want to join, and that's cool. And you <laughs> just want to watch on live. But we're happy to have you either way. Um, some key, David Moffat, is your factory running on a skeleton guru? <laughs> it will be once they're all painted. Good stuff. Yeah. Chris Cox said he didn't wear a Hawaiian shirt. No way. He totally did. Hmm? No. I'm pretty sure he did. Wash definitely has a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> like, hey, Lucy, I'm going to find the Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I am going to find Wash in a Hawaiian shirt. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Necro Fried Chicken. Thanks for joining. Hello to Seth Cross. Thanks for joining. And isn't every man a cargo shorts wearing man? <laughs> um, quite possibly. <laughs> I suspect there are some people who don't wear cargo shorts. <laughs> Those people don't like pockets. That's funny. My uh, sister-in-law like made my brother buy new pants that weren't cargo shorts. They're so convenient, aren't they? That's where I keep she all my like, things. like, you need to level up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> James is painting the queen from Castle Royal Court. Whiz kids. Yeah, he wore, he wore Hawaiian shirts. Good stuff. Okay, well, to be fair, the picture that I just brought up is not Nope, there you go. Yep, Brad said he maybe they're Ho maybe Hawaiian is like oh oh actually too broad of a term. It's like I've just just found a um, a couple of images here that I could, I'll probably end up going with. So is it a Hawaiian shirt? I'm not sure. There we go, Hawaiian shirt, and the undershirt <laughs> is the brown. So yep. I'm gonna go with that. Cause like technically it's like Asian motifs on it. Like, there's a pagoda. 
Oh yeah, it's it's and mountains. Um, I don't know if that is like it's not a Hawaiian flower shirt. No, no, but it's it's very much that style. Well, and that style of shirt is yeah, called a Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt. shirt for sure. But it'd definitely be um, something. Now that I've argued the finer points of Hawaiian shirts, <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen, let's go to you. What are you? doing on your model right now. I feel like I should be ready with like a sports cast. <laughs> and Gretchen, back to you. So, uh, <laughs> um, so I have all the base colors on is what I have. Um, so I painted her skin real quick and I am letting that green dry on her coveralls before I go back in and get the shadows and um, highlights and kind of just I wanna I wanna dirty them up a little bit because she's um, she she's the mechanic so I feel like she should always have a bit of dust and smudge and grime if she's been in the ship's innards. <laughs> um, but yeah, just flat colors. Uh, skin done, hair done, wrench, kneecap and wrench. Who doesn't love a good kneecap and wrench? Um, I don't have a spaceship, so if I had a wrench that big, it could only be for kneecapping. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything in my house that I could <laughs> use it for other than that. Uh, so what am I planning on doing next? I'm probably going to see her overalls look mostly dry. So I'm probably gonna go back through and use some of that flat earth that I already have on my palette and probably something a little darker, um, like a wash just to get into all those fine creases that right now have a lot of green in them. You need a wash? I got I one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then go into highlights. So that's the plan. Does it work? We find out at the end. <laughs> I never know if it's gonna work. What's up with me? Uh, now I am currently um, painting Wash's hair. I figured I'd get that out of the way. So I've, I've painted his, um, his pants and his uh, undershirt with um, charred brown. And I'll come back and work on uh, work on highlighting those with sort of separate colors. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just um, I painted beige brown as the base for his uh, hair. I always like that as a base for. Oh, she like, has a hair. heart on her overalls. Like sculpted on, or yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> that's so cute. Little patches. That's cool. I didn't even realize that. That's adorable. Got cute little overalls with tarts on them. That's better than a party dress any day. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> I do have a pair of overalls that I wear on the show often that I absolutely love that are fun. There you go. Okay. Yes. Thanks for that, Chris. Anybody in the chat uh, checking that? Out? How yeah, I think like that's here? like the fourth time someone has commented that. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. I think anybody who's still joking about that now never liked Wash. Yeah. Which is a shame. I love Wash. He's great. I, I love Wash as characters. soon as he was playing with dinosaurs. I was like, I feel this. I... <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that was the first time I saw everything, and I didn't know. I didn't know about his uh, his death. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, man playing with dinosaurs. That's my favorite character. And poor my fiance just kind of <laughs> looked at me and was like, uh-huh. 
Remember that. It's like somebody uh, going to watch Game of Thrones now and going, oh, Ned Stark, he's my favorite character. I hope he becomes king. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, well, don't worry. At least Rob's my second favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or, or like me, where I was like, hey, I just genuinely like all the Starks. They're cool. They're, they're a cool family. Yeah. <laughs> Proceeds to watch the series and just see them get obliterated <laughs> one by one. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> no. Good stuff. It's fine. It's all okay. okay. So when a uh, mini is this small do you have any like tips or different things that you're doing in s compared um, to like last week yeah typically um i i use a size two brush so this is my size two um from uh, broken toad nice point um this week i'm using a size one And if I need to, I can bust out my extra small artificer layer brush. Oh, there we go. But I, um, if I was to, if I wanted to go and like paint the eyes on it, I'd probably use this. But quick, quick hint. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I don't think I will. <laughs> I'll stick to that. Stick to that. Um, so yeah, the eyes would be super small in there. But yeah, so I think uh, a couple of things would be use a smaller brush. Uh, so you've got more control of where your paint is going. Uh, maybe you don't need to work with as many highlights as you normally would. Um, could be a thing. I usually do a, like a base coat and two highlights, maybe three. So I'm still going to stick with that on most of this, uh, sort of most of the um, pieces of clothing. But the area that I put the the final highlight on will probably be a lot smaller to accentuate that contrast. And maybe I won't have as many, um, there won't be as many stages in between each level. So looking at his front from that angle, looks like we've got quite a bit of contrast there already just between the um, cavalry brown that I've used for the deep red there and um, the charred brown. But I think when we turn it around like that, it's not as, not as contrasty. Contrast is a word. It is. I'm sure it is. It totally is. It isn't, it I, I be. don't doubt you. If it isn't, it should be. <laughs> do I feel like what? Compared to the larger models, do you to feel like larger you're ones? doing different things? Um, I feel like it just takes longer. Even though it's smaller? Yeah. Right. Because I'm trying to be more precise. Um, and also, I have to wait for things to dry and be very patient, and I'm not good at that. And with larger minis, like, something can be drying while I'm working on something else. Yeah. Yep. More but surface area can be a, a good thing for faster painting. It sounds, sounds strange, but I think you're definitely right there. I'm going to finish off uh, just highlighting his pants here. Just mixing a little bit of uh, beige brown into the charred brown for this first highlight. Thankfully the folds in his pants are quite um, pronounced. So you can run along those and highlight those fairly quickly.
I guess a good question to ask at the moment would be, what's everybody's favourite Firefly episode? Which one would it be? I think that is a very good one to ask. Leona, do you have a favourite Firefly episode? That's hard. All of them? I love all of them. No, but I actually really like when they, um... I really like the plot line of the one where they go on the... They, like, meet up with the ship that had been infested by Reavers. And then okay. they, they bring that guy on. And then it's, like, really creepy. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, where they find out how Reavers have been, like, procreating, basically. Yeah. That's a really I like good. that one, that not because it's, like, happy, but because I liked how it was kind of creepy. Yeah. Kind of like watching a thriller sci-fi movie or something. I, I just liked the feeling of that episode. The tone. Right. Yeah. But yeah. That's one of the, the cool things where they can draw on... Um... A lot of different genres. Maybe that's a weird one to enjoy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> David Moffat says they were all my favorite character except Simon. <laughs> what? What didn't you like about Simon? What was his? Poor Simon. <laughs> Is it because he was particularly focused? He's kind of a, a whiny character. Well, this is true. I think maybe that's why he can feel annoying. <laughs> He's just like, oh, me and my sister. Especially at the beginning. <laughs> no, I actually really like the one where they go to the... Is it the capital or, or whatever? When they do the like heist one. It almost feels like Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> right. You know which one I'm talking about? I have an idea of which one you're talking about, yeah. I think so. I... It's been a while since I've watched. I recently rewatched it because I love this show. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what David Moffat said. He said, it's been over a decade since I've seen it. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. The train job, yay. Uh... The train job is good. The the one no the one where they it's like the dumpster. The trash. Anyway, whatever. I love this show. I'll <laughs> <laughs> the hero of Canton was a good one. <laughs> I think that's a favorite of lots of people. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Just quickly, I'm going to mix a little bit of ivory into my um, cavalry brown. Yes, the one there where they have to sneak into the hospital. That one's a good episode. All right. Yep. That's the one I was trying to talk about. David Moffat found Simon the least relatable. That's fair. Also not a Xander fan in Buffy. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Xander is also not my favorite. So I guess, yeah. I can feel that. <laughs> they're the, um, and Firefly is on Hulu. Yeah. They're, they're both the characters that, are, that sort of have that are there to point out how dangerous or foolish some course of action is, but they're almost always never listened to because if they were listened to, it would be a super short episode. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go and do this crazy thing. You realize how dangerous that is. Yeah. I like the yes. train episode. Roll credits. Yeah, the train episode I, is really good, too. The train episode where Wash is like, oh, I'm going to be one of the one of the hero people. I like that episode purely because when they do get in trouble and Zoe gets there and the guy thinks he's going to give them, uh, give Zoe an impossible choice. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's immediately like, my husband. Give me my husband. This guy can handle it. Give me my husband. <laughs> I appreciated that. I was like, there are people where I would do that. And I'd be like, I'm so sorry. You you have this. Please give me the weaker child. <laughs> like, yep. uh, also, welcome, Roger. Thanks for joining. Hey, Roger. Playtesting for Gray Fox Games. 
Thank you for tuning in. While you play chess? Question mark. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's look at some minis. How does that sound? Oh yeah, let's do that. I knew there was something else we did during this show. <laughs> Only sometimes. Only sometimes? Yeah, like every time. Okay. Yeah. So what do we have first up? I agree with David's comment, Dave's comment. I love the entirety of it. Every episode reminds me of my RPG groups. And okay. that's fair. Good stuff. Yeah, that's definitely fair. Okay. Oh, Aaron. Any up a group of orcs from Massive Darkness? These are all very cool. I think one of the things I didn't realize it before, but the... I guess it's because of the um, the sculpting style or the art style for um, for it. But these orcs, if you were to like trim down those ears and paint them like with some human skin colors, they'd look at they'd bear a strong resemblance to the barbarian <laughs> that uh, that Aaron posted last week. True. Yeah, yeah. It's that long. It's that lanky hair and all the muscles. But uh, no, looking very cool. These orcs are looking looking great. Nice work, Aaron. I'm yeah, no, them. I like these. I like their blue. I like those. I'm particularly liking the, the highlights on the shield, I think, and the and the abs. Yeah. All those abs. <laughs> but yeah, looking great. Ashlyn nice with my first Warhammer mini since 1998. Wow. Good stuff. Yep, definitely. It looks super cool. Nice work, Ashlyn. I think, um, man, 1998, what's that, 23 years ago now? Woohoo! But, uh, yeah, great work there. Um, big thing I always say with, uh, I know this isn't, well, I'm guessing then that this isn't your first mini that you've painted. No. But with uh, <laughs> early minis, um, neatness is key. And uh, you've definitely done that here. There's no sort of colors splashed over onto other areas. Everything's nice and neat. You've done a, done a very cool job there. And, uh, yep, that Assault Intercessor is going to uh, do some damage. For sure. Oh, looking cool. Nice work. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> Brad's Mal. Looking very cool. And again, with Mal, you can't tell which, well, apart from the, the rims, the base rims, you couldn't really tell which one was heroic and which one was casual. Yeah. So there'd be times always when you'd just be looks heroic. <laughs> Pardon? You said, always looks heroic. Always looks heroic. He's always yep. heroic. Or maybe always, always looks heroic casual. and almost always has his gun out. He's always casual, holding his gun. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, casually weaving the gun around. Casually the only person who does that more is Jane. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... You say, does Jane have both of them? No. Jane has just his hand on his pocket in the other, in the casual, in the casual one. pose. Oh, too uh, bad. But uh, no, these look, uh, they look great, Brad. Nice job. I think, um, perfect brown coat. Yeah. Come on. Oh, Brad's working on an Etherfield mimic. Oh, that's, that's very cool. So the Mimic is coming out of a Scarecrow. That's really neat. I've never actually seen a Mimic. It's very creepy. Like, being yeah. revealed in a mini. Yeah. I wanted to show the, the side view is cool too, but I wanted to show this one because it's most readable from this angle. Like, you can yeah. see the two bodies. Yeah. No, I think it uh, definitely looks cool with that. <laughs> and the zipper, the unzipping of the head <laughs> kind of thing. Another hand uh, in there unzipping, but it looks uh, it looks super cool. Really nice work, Brad. I think um, picked a lot of great colors for that too. Yeah, nice work. Oh, Brenda's uh, Reaper's flying eyeball. <laughs> 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 Just taking the beholder to the extreme. But uh, yeah, looking very cool. I think my favorite part here is the little um, is the white on uh, the little white dot. The little shine. On the um, iris and, uh, <laughs> and pupil. Yep. 
Very cool uh, job there, Brenda. Looks great. I saw this on the group and I, I commented on it with a GIF. And I, I saw that. <laughs> for the, the GIF, I was, I was going to, um, I, I think I searched like horror and then I searched terror because I wanted to do something like, <gasps> but when I saw that particular GIF, where it's just one eyeball. It's like searching. Around, it's like, this is perfect. But, uh, Very yeah. Ed Roth, yes. This <laughs> flying eyeball student is their best pupil. Man, yeah. good stuff. Looks, uh, looks great. The whole flying eyeball student is best pupil. I love that. Nice work, Simki. Oh, eye roll from uh, <laughs> Dave H. <laughs> nice one, Mr. Hubble. Squirrel girl. Uh, Chris Hood. Squirrel girl. Uh, squirrel girl. A 12 inch figure. Has I think they're coming out with a movie of her, right? Are oh, they? Really? That seems like it'd be fun. I'm pretty sure someone is. Well, they're doing a movie. <sighs> they should. Yep. And it's got um, the, I think it's the AT&T girl. Yeah. Is playing Squirrel Girl. But, uh, yeah, I know nothing about Squirrel Girl. Apart from the fact that the AT&T girl and is going to be And she's playing. the strongest. Is she, it's Squirrel Girl's the strongest? Yeah. Of all the superheroes? Yep. Cool. Canon. She's just Candidly crazy. Made. I just know she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think she was, I think her, like, the whole origin behind Squirrel Girl was that she was kind of almost made as a joke at first yeah. right. to be, like, the strongest, but, like, kind of as a gag. And then the more people had fun with her character, the more, like, people started getting attached. And then like com actual like more serious storylines started to get implemented into her character. Okay. Um but the only thing I really remember is that it is canon that she is the most powerful. Excellent. Uh in the the DC universe, I believe. Awesome. Yeah. Um but I also know there's apparently a comic where she actually defeats Doctor Doom by like being nerdy or something. It's really funny. Like she just talks him into like, it, it, it's a fun character. Right. It's just a fun character. <laughs> a good time. I like the paint job, clean stuff. Also, yeah. shout out to Argmanic. He says, hey, it's cool. Dark Age yep. Steve. Oh, okay, excellent. Very Thanks cool. for joining. Thanks for joining us. We're just looking at some minis. Very cool. But uh, back to the, the, paint, the paint job at hand. I think Chris has done an awesome job here. Um, I love the, uh, just particularly the, the tail, yeah. getting the, that sort of coloration sort of spread through there, looks awesome. Um, and yeah, yeah, just great work. I, painting a larger, we were talking about painting these as sort of smaller minis than we've been painting recently, but painting a miniature of that scale, like that's like one, one sixth scale, I think, yeah. is pretty, um, Pretty crazy. It's very different to painting, um, painting tiny dimensions. But Chris, nice work. All good. Oh, David Bow is working on Gaskell Thraka. So at the moment he doesn't have his arms, his enormous claws on there. But uh, yeah, this is a huge, huge model. And uh, David's going a little bit off, he's going off canon here. Um, normally Gaskell Thraka, uh, as the greatest goth warlord that has ever, ever been, would be in uh, black armor. But I'm liking this uh, this take with the blue armor. It's looking very cool. And the little painting the little checks on the uh, armor plates outside there. Good job. Very orky. Come along nicely there, Dave. Oh, David Hummel has been painting. Uh, should I just put a helmet on him? Is this, this is, I think this is Gabriel Seth, the chapter master of the uh, Flesh Terrors. Yes, I think so. Is that right? I think so, yeah. Dave will let us know. He's in the chat. But uh, yeah, looking very cool. Um, should I just put a helmet on him? I don't think so. I think the cool thing about Gabriel Seth and Flesh Terrors is that they're out there screaming. <laughs> screaming war cry, screaming incoherently. Whatever it happens to be. Best but, thing uh, about them, they're I screams. agree. I think the face actually really makes it. Even if maybe the paint 
I, I know David was talking about like not loving the the way the paint was. Right. Oh, not loving the paint job on the on, on the, the face. face. Yeah. I think it looks fine. And a bare metal head on currently. Right. Makes sense. Yep. Oh, bare metal on head currently. Did you did you take that off and strip it? Is that what you did, Dave? If you if you feel you need to, that's cool. Go do that. But I think it's uh it's looking quite good. I'm just going to swing that eviscerator and take some heads. And yeah, looking good. Nice work, Dave. Very cool. Part oh, of the of skeleton horde. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. These are some very old skeletons. Very old skeletons. <laughs> I think um, I painted some of these. That back rank there from like the early 90s. But they're all plastic skeletons, and those helmets and the breastplates are separate pieces, so you don't have to put them on the model. But uh, they definitely all look good in this uh, this regiment, David. Very nice work. And I like the um, the use of the teal as the spot color there. It's looking great. Definitely the purple is is part of the sort of the standard color scheme for that for those guys. But the the teal is looking looking great. Very nice pop. <laughs> Those skeletons are a bit easier to build than the Warlord War Games Factory ones. The Warlord War Games Factory ones have a few extra pieces, so some of them, it's like two legs, oh, basically the legs and pelvis are in separate pieces. Oh. So you get maximum posability, but there's a lot of pieces to work with. But uh, yeah, they're looking really nice, Dave. Uh, David, it's been, uh, David Buller has been uh, second attempt at OSL. Any tips? But I think this is looking really cool. Um, well, really warm, I guess. <laughs> but um, I think this is uh, it's looking good. You've got that nice um, yellowish sort of glow down the the axe haft onto the hand there. A little bit showing on the um, the uh, the beard and on that, that stripe on the. On the back, has that bit of yellow too. Yep. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, it's working well. One of the um, one of the things that oh, David's done something here that I always do when I'm thinking about doing object source lighting is that it's some sort of usually some sort of weapon that's held away from the body. <laughs> but um, I did a class with um, Victoria Lamb, who was a fantastic painter and um, kind of pioneered a lot of the object source lighting painting on miniatures over the last 30 years. Um, she always said that when you're doing something, if you want to accentuate something that, with object source lighting, it's going to look best. So it's going to, the brightness of the light is going to look best if it's surrounded by darkness or dark. Right. Some areas. When you put it on a weapon... You and the can't. weapon's sort of stuck out to the side. Yeah. You're pushing it away, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to, to give it that glowing look. Right. Um, so really, it's more of a... My suggestion there isn't to change so much what you've done with your object source lighting. It's to change where it is on the model. Oh. So... I this thinking... model might not have a particularly great area for it. The axe is the most obvious most place. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, look for look for other models where it might be somebody holding an orb or a skull or a cup or something close to closer their to body. them, so that you can have it surrounded by darker areas. But uh, otherwise, I was thinking they, I think that even looks like very cool. on the one side of his arm, you could maybe add more darkness, like more yeah. of a dark shade. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that, that would work. So, on because the... then it would help push your eye to the axe. Yeah. Yep. Like, if you if you made the end of the axe mo darker. Yeah, I think the... But Not it, to black it out, but... No, no. But the, the things like the... Um, at the moment, the the tone, the tonal uh, sort of levels on the, the side of his face that's facing the axe and the hand that's facing... that's close to the axe head is about the same tonal ver uh, value right. 
as the other hand, the left, as uh, the right hand and the, the right arm. So if you dark, darken those a bit, give it that look of being in shadow. Yeah, yeah, definitely an important thing there. Good tip. But it looks great, yep. especially for a second attempt. Awesome job. Very nice. Who's next? Dwight. Dwight Crow converted some, converted iron, some guts. iron guts. Ooh. So iron guts are very cool. Uh, a very cool unit from the um, Ogre Kingdoms. I can't remember what they're called now. The beast, beast Claw Raiders, I think. Or <laughs> is it Beast Claw Raiders? No, it's something else. The Morfang tribes. I can't remember exactly what they're called now. But um, I know that in this one, uh, Dwight said that he used some pieces from the Mornfang Cavalry. Okay. Um, so it's like another ogre set that come. Some of them come with two-handed weapons or like weapon and shield, basically. Um, so he's taken those two-handed weapons from that other set and added them onto these basic guys. But it definitely um, spreads the pieces around, bulks out your units. Definitely looks cool. And these uh, these guys look really nice. Good work, Dwight. Very cool. And that's all we're going to look at for now. Okay. So we're going to jump to Gretchen to oh, hear right. about Gretchen. what you have been working on so far. So I have gotten a lot of the colors in for her jumpsuit. And I dirtied it up. You can see I added some dirt on her knee and on the bottom of her jumpsuit to show that she's been trudging around heroically, adventurously, um, and now I'm adding some darker red on her wrench, and then I'm going to go back through, um, and highlight just the edges of it, bits of it in a silver to kind of make it look like it's been dinged up and some of the paint has been hit away, um, from her knocking stuff around. Um, I added, you can't really see with her face. I didn't do a lot of details with her face because she is so small. I added eyebrows and I put a wash over it so that, um, the contours of her lips and eye sockets and whatnot would be a little bit more prominent. Um, but I did add blush to her cheeks, um, because Kaylee is very youthful and, uh, fun Nothing to make it look like she had makeup on, no like lipstick or anything drastic, just a youthful glow. <laughs> cool. Um, there. And then I added highlights, a little bit of highlights to her hair. So. Cool. Yeah. Add some silver. Uh, she also has a necklace um, on that I need to still uh, kind of very carefully boop with some paint. Um, official terms, boop. Boop. Boop with some paint. Booping? Yep, but. A little bit of paint booping. Uh, I do like how, how her overalls have come out so far. Um, they look nice and worn. And um, her face doesn't look a hot mess at the moment, so I'm just never touching it again. <laughs> Because um, I've learned my lesson other times. When you get an okay face, like either you're going to get the face perfect the first time or you're going to get an okay face. But if you go in past the okay face, you're going to get a bad face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. You get a hot mess face. Yeah. So I'm going to add my little silver highlights now and then I'm probably going to fiddle with her hair a little bit more um, to see if I can get a little bit more of, uh, of a highlight to it. Maybe get some uh, some bit of like a yellowy brown to get that in between, <laughs> in between the, the light brown and the dark blonde. Right. But. Do you feel like bone would be a co good color to use? The bone? White? Um, the or bone, no? bone white? Yeah. Mm. What's the off white color? I mean, I've been using ivory as kind of my highlighting because I want it all to have kind of the same. I don't want it to be too stark, but I feel like white might be too bright. Oh, okay. Or bone white might be too bright. I don't know. I'll find out. <laughs> 
I'm just going to do a little bit of rummaging. Okay. <laughs> Dave says, same with the faces here, Gretchen. It's either spot on or start over. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's what it is. It's either perfect the first time and you're like, and then you have that temptation because it was the first time you did it. Right. And that's where you're wrong. <laughs> you shouldn't. Should you shouldn't. It. <laughs> it's alignment. It's a, it's a lie, and it's it's there to deceive you. Right. I'm gonna rummage one more time. I thought I got out my white. I didn't. David Moffat says that rummaging sound is very Pavlovian for me. <laughs> Pardon? And I agree. I think Jeff um, Hall said, not Hall, um, Jeff Jenkins said the th same thing once. Ah, you fight that all the time and lose. <laughs> also, just so you know, Facebook user, because we can't see your name, there is now a link for us to see your name that I am putting in the chat right now. Excellent. And if you click it, then we can um, see who you are. Okay. So next up, it's the base. This is the base color for um, Wash's shirt. I know we've talked about um, like opacity before, mm -hmm. and I think um, so. Different colors have different opacity, different coverage that they're going to um, be good with. But this this blue looks pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. There. Now I think if I was to paint just the straight, uh, this is using uh, deep sky blue from the monocolor range. Um, that it wouldn't be as opaque as it is appearing right now. And if I was also just to use straight ivory over black, it wouldn't be as opaque. But by mixing the two together, there's some chemical magic that happens. At least that's what I'm making up. Uh, that gives it that great sort of opacity there. So, if you're finding that you have a you have a color that isn't isn't working too well or isn't giving you, you might need to use like three or four coats, thin coats over black. Um, just try mixing it with with a different different color or like something that's either going to lighten it or darken it a little bit. Um, that will give you great coverage like that. Real quick, I just want to say, welcome, JT. Thanks for joining. Sorry that we oh. can never see you sometimes. <laughs> we <Excellent>. appreciate you regardless. <laughs> Very cool. So I know that there are a couple of other combinations that, that I've used in the past that I can't, can't quite remember me <laughs> like off the top of my head. But um, it's always just a good Thing to uh, be ready to try. And of course, if you wanted to, you could go back and paint. paint that the black blue area. is looking great. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, it's just working really, really well. So I'm still. It's it's still mostly um, the deep sky blue. But um, which will mean that I can leave that as the the base color, or the sort of the deep deepest color, and then highlight it up a bit. So I was looking for my white, but it seems I didn't bring my white tonight. I know, it make things difficult. So instead, I'm using ivory. Go. 
Yeah. All right, it's looking. I can look more. So like nice more. and bright. That's cool. So I don't think we've mentioned it recently, just for those folks who are tuning in now, but we are painting minis from the Firefly brown coats. Oh, uh, well, is it Brigands and Brown Coats? Yep. Yep, Brigands and Brown Coats uh, board game from Gale Force 9. Thank you to the folks at uh, Gale Force 9 who sent us a copy of this. Uh, they also sent us a copy of um, Aliens, another glorious day in the core, that board game, uh, which we're giving away. Aren't that we? we are. So if you uh, head to the Game Trade Media Facebook page, uh, you can check out the um, the Gleam campaign that we have going for that. Uh, and also, look at that. Leona has put it in the chat already. How awesome is that? So yeah, so if you click on that link, you can go and find out how you can win a copy of Another Glorious Day in the Core. So at the moment, we're all about the sci-fi TV shows. Yes. And movies. Sci-fi things. You see I'm wearing my Expanse shirt again. Oh, nice. <laughs> I still... You still haven't seen it? I really? still need to watch that. Um, <laughs> it was like two weeks ago that we talked about it. I know. I realized that. Like, today, I was like, no, I haven't even, like done one episode gotta check it out I really need to check it out I love sci-fi so much yeah. I think you'd like it yeah, yeah I'm excited you would like it for sure okay if there are any other good sci-fi series out there put them in the chat because <laughs> I will check them out I need yeah. some especially if they're books I need some good books and I know The Expanse is books, so I'm, I'm probably going to read them. Yeah. Or listen to them on audio. That would be good. I was trying... I started a book called um, New York, like, 2400 or something like that. Okay. But I just... I, I don't know. I couldn't get into it. <laughs> the right. first chapter... <laughs> I've had that happen with a book. I was before. like, oh, maybe, maybe I. <laughs> yep. Babylon TV, Babylon Five TV series. <laughs> I will check it out. There JT was says, a... "Love the Expanse, best sci-fi in a long time." Yeah, I don't know if you were here last week, JT, but Dave basically watched through it <laughs> really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How did it's I looking miss? pretty good. So I'm gonna um, just quickly add an extra highlight to his um, to his pants. So I think they were looking a little bit dull. Yeah. So a little bit extra, just uh, small highlights, but something um, that'll. Pick out those folds and creases and that kind of thing. I feel like if I fiddle with her anymore, I'm going to mess her up. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So you think she's done? For now. At the moment. At the moment, she's done. I feel like if I do anything else to her, I'm just going to be like, blah, 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 <laughs> paint. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to write down the series people <laughs> were putting in the chat. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. <laughs> there we go. Oh, cool. I feel like the only thing I need to paint on this is his hat. And then yes. it's fine. <laughs> I agree with that. Oh. 
I looked up to see it I on know. the scanner, and then I realized, oh, Leona's in here, not at the switching desk. <laughs> <laughs> May I with us? Here in a second. Okay. I'll come back to Kaylee. Cool. Ba, ba, ba. Looking good. That looks good. I think it's going to be. Uh, I know it's a little blown out on camera, but. <laughs> it's a little bright on camera, but it's fine. You can still make out the shapes of her face, even with the. Uh, yeah, I don't want to knock it down too much. Like, but. if I knock it down another bit. There we go. Okay. If you think that's better. Yeah. Because now you can see the shadows yeah. on the pants a bit more. That looks good. Very nice. Oh, we even see the little shiny on the, the wrench. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So what did you end up doing with the hair? Um, I ended up, so I had my flat, um, my flat earth, and then I had leather brown, and the leather brown was a lot more of, like, a honey color. Okay. Uh, so I used that for my highlights to kind of get that blonde brown kind of look. Um, but I also, I did use a bit of smoke for the, like, I kind of used it very thinly to try to get into the groove since she has some waves. Yeah. Um, I feel like if I had, uh, if I had changed my brush at all to something smaller, um, I could probably <laughs> have gotten a lot more detail in there. But, um, I think this brush actually has, even though it's larger, I feel like it has the best point out of all of the brushes I've murdered over here. Uh, so I, w I stuck with it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I like I like how, how she came out. I think she came out very cute. I was really tempted to make the heart on her overalls red, like her shirt. Um, right. But I kind of like how it blends in with her overalls. It's like a hidden surprise, like a little, a little treasure. Um, but looks great. Like a little subtle thing that she's hoping that uh, that the doctor will Simon notice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm quite pleased with how the hair color came out, and um, her eyebrows didn't melt into her face, so. It's a win, yeah. Really, is what I take it as. <laughs> on a on a miniature that small, anytime I can get eyebrows that are helpful instead of hurtful, yeah, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> also, real quick, I wanted to say bye, David. Thanks for joining us. Oh. He's bye. taking off to go eat supper, so looks good. Excellent. Uh, Josh Potter says two life lessons I can apply. Learned from Gretchen tonight, Firefly and chill, and quit fiddling so you don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> I think the important part with that first bit is that you should always clarify with the woman you're flirting with that uh, you are, in fact, inviting her over. And check your phone to make sure that <laughs> you know if you have her number or not. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, It's kind of like a, um, just looking at uh, Wash's shirt on, um, on my phone here, and it's uh, he's got one that's it's very much a um, like a Japanese print yeah. kind of look. So it's going to be interesting to mess around with those colors, I think. Get those, try and get some of those on the table, on the palette. Uh, but 
I'm also wondering. I've got. Um, I put Kaylee in her. Um, she has like the. Like a purplish, pinkish kind of shirt. Mm-hmm. Which sometimes wears it has that also has patterns on it. So. Are you just gonna do patterns? Um. Yeah, I'm doing patterns and bright colors tonight. Cool. And. And we have drab. Drab Kaylee. From, Gretchen. Yeah. I'm just She's focusing on this hat. At all. No, no, because I'm like, I gotta get I gotta get the hat. I'm gonna try to get some crochet mark, some little cross hatching action for that awesome. for that crochet look. Yep. I'm I don't think I'll get anything else done um on Jane, but Except for the most just the most important part. Just the part. most important part. The hat. The hat. Excellent. Trying to get that, that would be great. yellow nice and opaque. Mixing in some of that ivory. Yep. I'm just going to go for a, a simple pattern on these sleeves, I think, for Kaylee. Like a little like flower. Oh, wow, that's so cool. What's that? It kind of got lost in the chat before, but Jez said there is a new sci-fi series starting in the UK soon called Intergalactic, and it's got some of his leather work in it, or their, le their leather work in it. Okay. Well, that's really neat. Cool. That is very Of course, cool. whenever I hear the word intergalactic, <laughs> I immediately have the Beastie Boys song in my head. Yeah. I have to make sure that's not 808. But, uh... Excellent. I think we're almost, um, I hate to say it while I'm focused on these tiny little flowers. Oh. Uh -huh. But uh, it's almost time for the next round of minis. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So tiny. So tiny. Okie dokie, here they are. Very cool. Oh, Harry Snyder wow. finally making progress on Morty, the Mortarian. This is a model that I'm going to pick up pretty soon, I think. But uh, apparently he's incredibly popular in ninth edition, more than 40,000 at the moment. But uh, yeah, coming along nicely, uh, Gary. I could see why he'd be so popular. As a miniature? Yeah. It's, a, it's a, an amazing miniature. I painted one of them for, um, for a client before. But uh, yeah, definitely looking uh, looking good so far. I think um, got all those great base colors down, and uh, yeah, just can keep working from there. I, I like the uh, kind of the purple face as well, that sort of sickly purple face under the purple hood. But yeah, coming along nicely, Gary. Looking forward to seeing more of it. I'd of course have to paint him a little bit differently because my, oh, yes. my armor oh. colors are a little bit different. But uh, yeah, looking nice. You'd have to put the Dave the Dave touch on it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but yeah, great work, Gary. Oh, Chris uh, painted up a space wolf, wolf priest. So many wolves, all the wolves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice work on this one too, Chris. And again, it's going with that. That uh, the style that Chris is really developing at the moment, um, lots of uh, subdued, desaturated colors and um, that sort of thing, with just that little pop of a bright color in there, which is in this case the yellow. But yeah, looking good. Very nice. I wonder where that head's from. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We still have Josh in the in the chat. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, Josh has been painting a whole bunch of Ralph Arthur stuff recently, I think, and uh, painted up a good Green Knight, which is very cool. I didn't realize that they'd done a Green Knight until I saw Josh post this in the, <laughs> in the group. But uh, yeah, based on, I think it's from Arthurian legend. Gawain and the Green Knight. Is that it? Yep. yep. Cool. There we go. I was yep. correct. Dwayne shows up, wants to wants to pick a fight, 
lops off the guy's head because the guy's like, I'll pick a fight with you. You can have the first blow. Hit me anywhere. This is the Cliff Notes version, by the way. <laughs> lops off the guy's head. The guy picks up his head and he's like, I'm alive. A year and a day from now, I get to come back and take one swing on you. Wow. Anywhere I want. And Gwen's <laughs> like, I was not expecting this sequence of events. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. And then there's some shenanigans involving stealing a girdle from the guy's wife. Okay. Um, he lives. The end. The end. Nice. <laughs> I'd make a great teacher. That was a great That's Cliff Notes version. So much like you only read the Cliff Notes. No, just kidding. Um, no, I actually read the entirety of the Marta Arthur. Uh, but the end. That's Excellent. it. <laughs> Very cool. Back to, back to next week for Beowulf, as told by Gretchen. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> but uh, looking really good there, Josh. I'm, I'm liking the, uh, you're highlighting there, highlighting on the, um, the tabard. The shield and also um, on that knee plate, whatever the uh, the knee pad. There, just that nice sharp edge, looking very cool. Great work, Kyle. Excited to be learning to paint. <laughs> paint uh, That's really well done for the skin tones on that. Yeah. It's awesome, isn't it? And yeah. he almost looks like I don't know if it's because the paint's still wet, but I would swear it like. The highlighting on the abs looks like the, like oiled, like does, a like it, a wrestler. It does look a bit oiled, <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, Hulk Hogan would definitely have been oiled up. But uh, no, it looks fantastic. I think um, yeah, Kyle's saying it looks like his second or third mini. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, doing a really really good job there. Again, what's the important thing that I keep talking about when you start up? Clean lines, and uh, yeah, Kyle's done a really great job there. And everything from else from that, you just you can keep building the highlights and shadows and all that sort of thing, but clean lines first. It's funny now because, see, I'll say that to people. Yeah. Oh, clean lines, even yeah. though I, I don't paint. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I know it's good advice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. Excellent. But yeah, uh, nice work, Kyle. Keep painting. Keep it up. Michael Wool painted up some battlefield objectives from the terrain crate. Yep, these are looking very cool. This is the terrain crate from uh, Mantic, Mantic Games. And is that a, um, like a, a library of scrolls on fire? <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> For running your, uh, like, um, Library at Alexandria. I was going to say your ancient Alexandria, yeah, you know. Alexandrian library. Oh, no. yep. One shot. <laughs> the library burns. Yeah. Rough. <laughs> so terrible. Terrible. Such a great loss of, uh, of knowledge. But, uh, yep, Michael, this is all looking, uh, looking great. Yeah, I like how these turned Very out. Cool. Particularly the mimic that you've got in there. I'm not telling anybody where it is. <laughs> you have to guess. That would be a fun I Spy setup. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But uh, nice work, Michael. Good one. <laughs> Just said, not Alexandria too soon. Is it really too soon? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Jeff, are you still in the chat, Jeff? Old Wolf Studios here. Squats! Yeah. Yes. I had to include it because I feel like only a couple of weeks ago we were talking about squats. Yeah. yeah I think we it was with the two Jeffs, actually. Yeah. We were talking about them. We and were. So I, I thought think. that was really funny. Yeah. So I had De to include them. Definitely good. Definitely good. The squats were really into uh, ancestor worship. Uh, so the, I think the guy on the, on the right that has a little bit of a uh, Santa Claus vibe going on yeah. was uh is a living ancestor oh, is what okay. they're called so but uh yeah the the squats were definitely big on their um their mega extended fork harleys <laughs> but yeah looking very cool jeff nice work <laughs> Paul Wardle, uh, painted the Qualinar Wizard, which uh, looks very cool uh, and very, again, definitely has that cool, cold vibe to it. Um, 
I was wondering if you're going to put this up and which picture you're going to pick. Oh, yeah, but I know. yeah. So I'm definitely, sorry. <laughs> definitely head to the group, everybody. Uh, head <laughs> to the group and check out some of the other photos the that Paul posted. posted. Um, you can see a little bit of the the general approach here on... Um, Do you want me to grab it uh, real quick? Uh, no, that's cool. That's okay. cool. we get people to go to the group. It'll be fine. Um, but, uh, I'll put a link in the chat. On his cloak there, the inside of the cloak, um, there's some like s snow uh, sort of not forming, but um, basically artwork on the inside of the cloak there. On the back of the cloak is a fantastic uh, polar vortex going on. Um, wow. It looks looks very cool. An awesome spiral, um, nice and soft, lots of snowflakes through it, um, looking very cool. But uh, yeah, definitely great work there, Paul. Looks looks very very nice. I love the uh, I love the owl as well, the snowy owl on the shoulder. <laughs> Excellent, familiar. But yeah, nice work, Paul. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Oh, there we go. So if you're Five Nights in the at chat, Freddy's. you can check that out. I think, right? Yeah. Pardon? Is that from Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, I don't know. It it looks like I can't actually see. It says nasty. Yeah, uh, nasty animatronic robot. So it's not actually from Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm it just sure. looks it's like just it. That he kind of painted it like that. Yeah. Because it's for. Um, Fallout slash um, the game that your friend designed. This is not a test. Yeah, this is not a test. Why yep. are there so many scary animatronic? Animatronic. Thank you. <laughs> Creatures. Well. Uh, Why in more than one video game? Why? It's a. It's the um. Rob Jedi, is that you? Yeah, that's Rob. Oh, thanks Same. for joining. His own creation. I did not put two Why? Together, it's scary. So it's his own creation. Yep. Well, it's the whole. Um, I think it's a, it's an extension of like the body horror idea that that's there's something fair. that's it's not quite what it's depicting. There's something that's off. There's something that is very deep in our, very deep in our brain, that's uh, or in our, in our psyche that uh, brain that definitely us. is like nope, nope, nope. Yeah. He said it was inspired by Willy Wonderland, Willy's Wonderland with Nick Cage. <laughs> there are so many Nick Cage films that I have not seen. And there are so many that I have not heard of. I haven't heard of Willy's Wonderland. Which, Neither uh, have I. Oh, apparently it is. It was like a... It's the movie version of Fright... Fr oh, oh, okay right, then. Please. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I really like this. I like how... It is very cool. This, I think, is, um, this is great. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely really good. Looks awesome. And one of the things Jess I really... Hunt, how many people have you made armor for? <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw that. I was going to talk about that after. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Jess uh, does a lot of leather work. Um, like, is brilliant leather work. So That's so cool. But yes. He's made armor for a lot of people, I think. But uh, yeah, definitely awesome, Rob. I love the um, the green tinge as well in the um, in the models, uh, just on, on the face there, just looking very cool. And also, I just all right, excellent, very cool. But the, I also love the handprint on the, the front there. It's like the last last thing that person had the energy to do was try to swat him away <laughs> before being eaten. Yep. Nice work, Rob. Looks great. Very cool. Oh, Sean Gleason painted up a Necromunda squat. Uh, bounty hunter. Looking, uh, looking very cool there. So, yep, yep, there we go. Jess has said uh, a few things. <laughs> made, a few, made a few things along the way. Definitely very cool. Um, yeah, Sean uh, has painted up this Necromunda squat. So um, I think we mentioned that squats have been making a very small reappearance in the yes. Warhammer 40,000 universe. Yep. Uh, in, and it's in Necromunda with models like this that uh, have occasionally been popping up. But yeah, Sean's done a, a cool job here. 
definitely um, a very unique color scheme. I think the, the greens and the oranges um, and the blue. Just, uh, you know, this guy's a character. <laughs> and you want to uh, step out of the way when he sidles up to the bar. I feel like he's going to talk really cool. Like, he's going to say words, and I'm not going to know what he's saying. Right. Like, <laughs> just very hip lingo that I'm not familiar <laughs> with. <laughs> I thought he was going to be very quiet. And he'd just look at people and look at things. Like, if he wanted a drink, he'd look at the drink, and somebody would bring it to him. Just never kind of actually has to talk. Never actually has to talk. Just the menace was so enough. But, yeah, great work, Sean. Sean. Sean's taking a break from his Lumineth, I think. But yeah, excellent. <laughs> Rob suggests that uh, he'll be like, I, I have spoken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sleepwalker <laughs> uh, has been batch painting Eldar, uh, 40k Eldar Guardians. So that is a lot of Guardians to be working on at once. I think there's something like 40 so many. minis there. Maybe 50. That many of them, all tiny and lined up like that with that bright of a green, almost looks like like beetles, like iridescent green. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they were definitely going for that that kind of kind of look to it, for sure. Um, you can see all those little red dots mm -hmm. that are on there. Those are uh, gemstones. And Eldar models usually have a lot of those sort of bulges on there. So I let um, Sleepwalk Air know that not all of them are gems on the armor, but uh, most people do actually paint them all as gemstones. So it's a lot of work, but you don't have to go do all that work if you don't want to. <laughs> but uh, it definitely it definitely does look cool. Dave is telling you it's optional. It's okay. You can it's take okay. a break. But no, this is um, this is an awesome awesome amount of work and, and very cool scheme and, and job on there. Nice work. So that uh, is the end of our minis that we saw for this, this week. week. I'll make sure, Jez, next week you get one. Sorry. I know you posted early, but I, I gather them on um, Wednesday. So <laughs> such is the way. All right, let's jump to Gretchen. See what you've been doing. I have been painting a glorious hat. Very. Very glorious hat. Um, so I have the, that's about right. Okay. <laughs> um, so I, I slopped some skin tone on him just so I could see where the hat began and his face began. Um, it's a little blurry up there, but I cross hatched into the hat. Um, just a little bit on one side, not all over. Cause I just wanted it to give the, um, the illusion of texture rather than go through and paint all the texture since he is so small. Um, so I did a little bit of light cross hatching just on one side where uh, I've decided the sun is, you know, <laughs> as you do. My light source, because uh, I'm a professional. You might, you, you're laughing at that, Leona, but I think. Um... It's, it's super important to do that. It's the it's the way no, I said it. I'm sure, but it's Gretchen it's what you do. You decide where the sun is. Where's I, I, the sun? I totally it's get it here because it actually is really important. It just was the way Gretchen said it. She was just yeah. like, and then <laughs> the sun is in the here in the sky. Like that's what I imagined. Yeah, I always um, ninety nine times out of a hundred, my light source is always from from the, the right like, forty like. Yeah, Maybe right here, like this. 45, 60 degrees. That is exactly the... where my light source is, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, I was channeling it. It's the superior light source. It is. It's... <laughs> it is, I'm telling you. Um, but I decided that's where the sun is, and so the sun's coming down through here, um, conveniently where this light is placed <laughs> in the studio. Fun awesome. fact. Um, so there's a little bit of cross hatching. I have, I used orange fire, and I used sand yellow, um, and I mixed the sand yellow a little bit with um, like a touch of dead white, um, just to, I think I actually might have mixed it uh, with ivory before that when I was doing the base coat, just to make it a little bit more opaque, because yellow doesn't do that very well. 
Yeah. Um, and I did the whole thing yellow first before doing the orange, just so the orange would have, again, more of that opaqueness. Um, and then now I'm just going back and touching up a bit on the uh, ear flaps of his hat. There's a little bit showing there now that I have his skin on. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Jane will have a hat and probably I feel like he'd be sad if I didn't add his facial hair. Um, so the next step is gonna be adding his, uh, his facial hair. <laughs> Excellent. Hmm. Very cool. Okay. I was just about to put uh, Kaylee on the spinner and then I realized I hadn't painted her toolbox. So I'm just doing that up quickly now. Welcome, Gray. Oh. Jason, thank That's, you for uh, joining. Jason, yeah. Sorry I'm late. My kids wanted a ferret. Sometimes, Isn't it always the way? Did they get a ferret? The kids just want the ferret. So many <laughs> That's times. the good question, though. Did they get the ferret? Because I'm team kids getting a ferret. <laughs> that could be a euphemism. Because toolboxes are red. Toolboxes are red. They got two ferrets, got good, because ferrets. ferrets deserve friends. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> two ferrets. All I gotta say, ferrets are stinky animals. <laughs> stinky animals? Yeah. Oh, the males are stinkier. Growing, growing up, uh, I had a friend who had three ferrets. Oh, jeez. I have a really funny story involving ferrets. I, they were really cute. Ferrets are a really cool pet. It was just, like, really stinky all the time. Yeah. Um... And you know what? I've realized this is the best time for a funny story about ferrets because we're about to go into, like, the quiet get things done <laughs> zone. Um, so I can fill that void with my oh. funny ferret story. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take, I'm going to take Kaylee off and I'm going to pop her on the spinner next to yours. Woohoo! There they are! There they go. Okay, so you two different Kayleys. And then you can ferret away. Can I? Can I? Is that? On, and, and you'll work on? I'll work on Wash's uh, shirt. Let's see how I can get it. There we go. Um, otters, stoats, weasels, and ferrets are all in the same family. Mm. Yep. Would that also be uh, minks? A minx in that? I imagine. Those turned out. Sure. Okay. Now yeah, to try and paint Japanese pagodas on a tiny shirt. Good right. luck. I'm going to do that by cutting a little bit thin. So I'm using some Agrax Earth Shade. Makes a little bit of charred brown. Just so I can try and sketch it out first. So. But uh, ferret story. What do you think happened with the ferrets? What do you? Oh, I, I thought I was going What's your guess? While we were doing this. I mean, you can be quiet if you'd like. I'm going to be. <laughs> I have these pagodas to paint on a tiny shirt. He says you got to tell really us the ferret story. story. So you I was in high school. Was hanging. <laughs> I was in high school uh, when this Real was quick, going on. Shout out to Jeff. Thanks for joining. Oh, oh. goodbye, Jeff. See you later. Bye, Josh. Oh. Oh, no, Jeff. Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Um, and as I was in high school, I made lots of fun decisions. And one of those fun decisions was that my friend was like, you should come spend the night at my house. We have a pool. And I was like, yeah. And, um, we all went over and we spent the night at their house, but we went swimming in the dark, um, as, you know, teenagers ought to do. And, um, it was, since it was like the middle of the night while we were there, um, we went back into the house, and that is when this particular friend decided to tell us that she had never asked permission for us to stay over. Oh. And that um, we had to be really quiet as to not wake up her stepdad, as he was the only one home. Um, so what we decided to do was go hang out in her, the, uh, her room with the ferrets. Right. Because that was quiet, right? <laughs> it sounds like it's quiet, uh, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> bunch of teenagers who've been swimming in a pool. Like, it's fine. Um, so we go hang out, and I hang out with these two ferrets, and her dad wakes up, um, as you do, and she's like, quick, you gotta do something. You gotta, you gotta hide. You've gotta, like, conceal yourself. And I'm holding a ferret this whole time. I have a ferret in my hands. And she takes me and she shoves me in the closet with the ferret. And I'm holding the ferret like this. Like I am ferret, like I'm just there and I'm looking at the ferret and the ferret's looking at me. We've never met before. And we're in the closet just hanging out together, um, trying to be very quiet. And I hear the stepdad come in and he's like, what you doing? And she's like, I'm just playing with the ferrets at two in the morning. It's, you know, and he's like, okay. And then I hear the footsteps come closer to the closet. And I hear them, and I there is nowhere for me to hide. There's clothes, but I can't get behind them. And I have a ferret. <laughs> so um, I hear the footsteps come closer, and I the door opens up, and I'm just, I am there. I am just there with a ferret. Just, just staring at this man. Please tell me you went. <laughs> no, 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 it was just me. It was just me holding a ferret and just, and I was trying to think invisible thoughts. <laughs> and it was just me like, invisible thoughts, ferret, uh, what am I, like, um, trying to blend into the clothing. And I don't know if this man was just like overcome by the ridiculousness of the situation of opening the closet door and finding a young, small girl holding a ferret in the closet at 2 a.m. Or if, you know, he just at this point just didn't care. Or I don't, like, I don't know. Like the strangeness of it all just overcame him. He thought he was hallucinating. <laughs> I don't, but it was just me, like, bright-eyed, and the clock, like, ferret. Um, he shut the door, and he walked away, and he went back to bed, and he did not say a word. <laughs> um, and... I think he showed incredible restraint. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the time I was trapped in the closet with a ferret in my hands. Um... There we yeah. go. He's like, okay, Jason. So you know what you have to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that was probably a good move. I part. mean, we were just having fun, innocent. Like it was just a sleepover. I I thought that there was permission for me to be at this sleepover. <laughs> yeah. Um. But you know. <laughs> Excellent. I'd never wanted to be a shirt more than in that moment. Right. I was trying so hard to just blend in. Or did you want to be a brown coat? <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Nice. Is there a smaller paintbrush? There's okay. this one's a little smaller. Let's try this for facial hair. So if you um if you're holding back like this far from the camera, don't 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 zoom in. Don't <laughs> just don't uh, try and get him in focus. You can kind of see pagodas and cherry blossoms <laughs> on his shirt. If we get any closer or, or any more in focus, they will not look so good. <laughs> It didn't quite work out, but still. Gave it a shot, right? That's what it's all about. Says Dave preparing some. I think the pattern is there. Light blue to paint over everything with. Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to um, pick out some little highlight spots at the top here. So as uh, Dave and Gretchen are wrapping up their minis, trying to get things done. Thank you to everyone who's been joining and talking to us in the chat. Yeah. We do appreciate it. It's been fun. Hopefully you uh, learned some things, felt inspired by Dave's pagoda pattern. <laughs> and um, if you're not already, go ahead and join us uh, on Facebook or on our other social media. 
where we, especially Facebook group, it's where we talk about mini painting and all that stuff. Good stuff. And yep. um, it's been really fun to see people post and hear about the different projects that they're working on. I will go to that shot now. Here, here, I can toss. Okay. I have his hat. Oh. And his beard. His facial hair and did he did he catch it? Yo! <laughs> got it. Amazing. Okay. So we're gonna pop him on the. And uh, if you don't have, I a got Facebook. the beard. I got the hat. That's all I needed for Yay, Jane. Yay! Here they are. Cool. <laughs> I Actually, made his they're... eyebrows grumpy. These guys look amazing. <laughs> Actually, that that looks exactly. <laughs> JT nice said, work. I learned not to get my daughter's fair. <laughs> I told you, teenage. either it's perfect the first time and you just don't do anything. Yep. This is so great. Yeah. Yeah, awesome job. I actually do like the pagoda, Dave. Yeah. I like the pagoda. I think that came out great. Yes. Yeah, so it looks all right. Props in the chat. Props coming from the chat. I agree. Cool. <laughs> yep. JT, I learned not to get my daughter's ferrets when they're teenagers. <laughs> they're teenagers. Yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Excellent. Yeah, no, we had a lot I of I think fun. the real question is, like, as a dad, what when you just open the door, like, what is what is the life lesson, like, of, of the... <laughs> my my therapist, <laughs> my therapist has been suggesting that, that I need to focus on um, picking my battles. And you think he just chose not to he pick that battle with me. He chose not to pick that battle. That was... <laughs> he, 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 he saw me he with went, the ferret and he went, no. <laughs> there are so many things I could do that would take me away from sleep for the next several hours. <laughs> or I can let this slide. And that's what he did. Yeah, I mean, JC, JT I says bad. it's not worth it at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> spending uh, spending uh, like an hour ferreting out. Where other kids are no doubt in the room somewhere. Oh, yeah. Everyone else had an actual or... hiding spot. I was yeah. the only one who just oh, had, no. like, the door and the <laughs> ferret. And <laughs> Dave has a good question. Like, but I almost wanted to, like, offer it to him. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick, Dave had a good question. He's asking what we're painting next week. What are we painting next week? Well, we can either paint some aliens or we can paint some um, epic encounters by Steve Forged. I think um, mm. I think I missed the what was the first option? Aliens. Aliens. Alien. Paint some Pokemon. Wow, paint that would Pokemon. be cool. That would be awesome Blue to Kari. paint some Pokemon. How do I get Pokemon minis? <laughs> One thing that was announced in this past week was that um, Games Workshop and uh, Wizards of the Coast are joining forces to make a Warhammer Forty Thousand Magic the Gathering. So a set of yeah. Magic the Gathering. 3D print? With oh. Warhammer 40,000 40, stuff. But my, my favorite thing, favorite response to that, somebody <laughs> suggested that you'd still need to paint your own. So it was a picture, like a line drawing of a space marine. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> your own card. So when they come out, we should definitely do that. That's uh, really great. Good. <laughs> JT says aliens. Yes. Aliens. Yep. I'm thinking we might be painting some aliens next week. Yes. <laughs> I just saw it goes cool with a weasel. <laughs> Snowman. Um, I think that's that's cool. I don't know. Um, there could be weirder things in your closet. There could be monsters. Says. Sure. <laughs> there could be, like, uh, the girl from um, The Grudge. Yes. Yeah. Aliens is good. It sounds like we have some alien fans in aliens. the chat. Aliens. People I think feel aliens. It. Okay. We can paint some aliens. Monsters. Some, uh, Shifter paints. Some Ripley's and Newt's and yeah. um, Hicks mm. and Hudson's. Yeah, let's paint some aliens. Whiz Basky. Just Busters. Whiz Basky! <laughs> 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 but so your homework is um, you got to watch the alien, all four of them. Oh, no, five? You got to watch all of them. Okay. Anything with an alien in it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Just the alien franchise. Have and you not you watched have to the watch alien alien, aliens? Uh, alien aliens. Alien three. Alien three. The, there's a four. Aliens, aliens versus pre yes. Predator. Do we get into that? No, Does we that count? Into, no, we don't get into the not AVP the Predator. Uh, Nobody's got enough time for that. Oh, speaking of mom pop. Yeah, I know. I I have a shipment of monster apocalypse coming our way, Ayumi. So you have some coming. Yeah. One. Cool. 
in, in, in like a month, we'll be able to paint some. Um, I don't, Jason, I don't think we need to watch Prometheus. I don't think anybody needs to watch Prometheus. Okay, I did add that to the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, Covenant. I thought was I thought Covenant was pretty good. It was okay, a, it was a reasonable recovery. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I, two. There I, were only two aliens. <laughs> I, I like David Fincher movies, so I, I actually like Alien Three. I know it's a no. I like Alien opinion. Three too. Yeah. I think it's good. I enjoy Alien, the Alien franchise. I, I mean, remember Alien my mom being awesome. very much against awesome. me watching it, but like this was after my dad had already let me watch Jurassic Park unsupervised. Okay. So at that point, he was just like, eh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> at least let's watch the first one, the best one, yeah. personally. We'll do that. I think the first one <laughs> is the best one. Okay. Good Sounds stuff. Good. I'll get those models prepped and bring them in. Cool. When James says, I do not horror. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, well, that you is. approach Aliens then as a sci-fi film. Yes. Yeah, sci-fi thriller. Film. thriller. That's hmm? what I think it is. Sci-fi thriller. Sci-fi thriller? It's not oh. true horror. It's the th and thrill. it's like the Michael Jackson thrill. thriller. Like, think of it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Close us out, Gretchen. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please join us next week. Make sure to join our Facebook page, Painting Happy Little Minis, if you are not already part of the group so that we can see your minis once you post them uh, during the show. We are doing a giveaway for the aliens, so make sure that, <laughs> for the aliens, <laughs> for the aliens. Um, so make sure that you are part of the Facebook groups to be, uh, blah, 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 blah. You don't actually have to, to take be part, part of the Facebook group for that, but uh, you have to be, you have to see it though. To well, be, click on the link that's yeah, in, the, in the chat there, that. the gleam.io for Painting Happy Little Minis giveaway. Or Game Trade Media. Or the Game Trade Media page. Because it's on, on both. Facebook. Yeah. All over the place. I was going Everywhere. too fast. You were. I got caught up. You stumbled. Thank you, Dave. You got caught <laughs> You caught me. I stumbled. You caught me. There's a ferret. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. We'll see you next week. And we'll also see you at your friendly local game store. <laughs>